So now we're about to check out the river frontage on uh, Tract 8. This is just gorgeous. It's a little bit windy today, um, but we're here on the on the easement road uh, down toward the north side, parked on the property. Let's go check out the water. Let's do it. Beautiful open meadow, wow. Bam, there it is. Wow. There she blows. That is the Niangua River. That is gorgeous. Jeez. That's some sort of cool uh, sandbar across there. So obviously it's gonna take a lot of water to flood this section where the four-wheelers parked. Um, because it's going to flood that whole area first. We're up several feet. Although I could easily walk down this. It's not a sheer drop by any means. I want to see if that uh, gravel bar is on the property. Let's, let's check this out. I've got my map right map open on the iPad on the four-wheeler here so I can kind of tell roughly where we are on the property and I think that gravel bar is definitely on easily we're just barely in about the middle of the river frontage now this is a little more sheer here uh, I think the last big flood that came through ate some of this bank away but there you can see that gravel bar. I mean, that's adjacent to the property. There's a spot right there we could get down uh, to the water. And actually, um, what we've done in the past on river tracts, if you want to make it really good access, is you can rent one of the mini excavators. Um, I think they're about two, 250 a day. And then if you t come out here with the mini excavator, uh, you can park it right here near the edge and kind of dig yourself a little ramp. And this is all just dirt and sand, so it's super easy digging. And then you can have a, uh, an easy way to, you know, put in a canoe or a kayak or just to walk down to the water. This is really pretty. I'm trying to get up on this sycamore tree here. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. I was. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's almost like a park across over there. That's really pretty. The cool thing about a major river is 
uh, every time the water gets up a little bit it's going to change kind of the change the shoreline <clears throat> excuse me uh, so the next time the water's up i mean it may deposit a gravel ramp all the way right up to this upper part but there are several spots where you could walk down even without having to uh, mess with moving any dirt Super cool. I'm trying to get through this section here. I don't have my map right app right now because it's on the four wheeler. But as we get down toward this area, um, now we've got a, a lot more gradual spot where we could walk right down if we wanted to. I mean, ultimately, you'll have to come out and explore yourself and find your favorite spots and all that good stuff, but uh, this looks pretty cool right here. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That is incredible. Little cabin across the way. Looking up river. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This really <laughs> This really blows just about every other river I've seen out of the water. I love the North Fork River until this project. It was bar none my favorite because it was crystal clear. But this is crystal clear as well. And it's three times as wide as the North Fork and it is beautiful. Wow. Stunning property.